All right, Shalom Akiyam, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Chapadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you, Akiyam, out there doing the work of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, in truth, faith, and in sincerity. This is Brother Taz and Pop back again with another GMS jab. This one's going to come out of the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, which states, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And so just to go into a quick breakdown, uh, we'll jump over and we'll grab this here scripture over in Romans chapter 6 verse 17 so that you can understand because there's several things that this truth frees you from but at its core you know at, at the essence of this what is it really freeing what is this truth really freeing us from the receiving of the knowledge wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know just to, if you had to name one thing that encapsulated everything, what would that be? And Romans, the sixth chapter, it, it, break, it basically breaks it down. So we'll go here to Romans chapter 6, verse 17, which states, But Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. And so that you have it, it said, but Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. And so servant means you was bound to something. You was, you, you was under the oppression of something, you know, of, of this sin in this case. You understand? We, we were subject unto sin. And Romans the 8th chapter goes into that. And uh, man, I can jump over there and grab that. And this is Romans chapter 8, verse 20. It says, For the creature was made subject unto vanity. The creature is us, mankind. But first and foremost, and here the scripture is dealing with specifically the, the children of the Hebrew Israelites. Because we were given the law in which we transgressed, Salaki, in which we transgressed, which made us sinners. Because sin is the transgression of the law. So here, this, this book is to redeem them that were under the law. It's the whole purpose of Yahweh Shah coming. To redeem us who were under the law, who were condemned by the law. So it says, for the creature was made subject unto vanity, subject to sin. Sin is vanity. It says, not willingly, but by reason of him who, said, who has subjected the same in hope. So, Right, we were subjected unto sin, unto vanity. And so the truth freed us from that. We, we were made free by this truth, as it says here. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. What is that form of doctrine? The doctrine of truth. The doctrine of truth. Of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says uh, down Romans 6 and 18, being then made free from sin by the truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. So now for the Akiyam that are in this truth, we are the servants of righteousness. When Aforetime, we were the servants of sin, lost in this world. Most High gave us His marvelous light of the truth, you know, and it and it freed us. And and when they say the servants of sin, the Most High made that manifest in the flesh because He put us under this devil, these Edomites, the so-called white people. And what did the Scripture refer to this white boy as? That man of sin. So because we chose not to serve the ways of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah, and we dishonored that first covenant, that first testament that was made with us. The Most High gave us over to that man of sin, and we literally served sin. You know, we served with our flesh, and now we serve, you know, at one time with our mind, with our flesh, you know, and now the Most High has subjected us to this white boy who is the, uh, the man of sin. And I'll just grab that and then we'll close this out. And so this truth has freed us from all that, man.
freed us from the, from the wickedness of this flesh, from the grip of Satan, and from the grip of his, his uh, physical counterparts here in the earth, the Edomites. So this is a real quick, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. It said, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who is none other than Esau, these Edomites masquerading as white people. And so the truth has freed us from all that. So I pray through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, that you brothers receive some edification from this. And till next time, you brothers stay up and Shalom.